So Pinterest will become one of the best places to use if you're trying to get traffic to your website or to buy products or even for affiliate products. So if you're someone who's never used Pinterest or you're considering using Pinterest, this is one of the highly recommended platforms. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually automate Pinterest without having to post entire titles and descriptions. This is all completely automated and we're going to be using ChatGPT, Copilot and Zapier. Stick around because I'm also going to show you different methods and different tools that you can actually use to optimize on Pinterest. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our pins. We're going to create our pins which are going to use for the week. Okay. And we're going to use Canva. So you can just come up over here and type Pinterest pins. And I'm going to go with templates. And it basically is going to look for templates. Now it also depends with your niche, whatever products you're promoting or marketing or your website theme. Now, in this case, I'm trying to promote products from my website or basically just, you know, promote my website in general. And my website usually talks about uh, AI tools. I blog about AI tools. I blog about making money online. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually just search over here, uh, Pinterest pins for maybe making money online. And there we have them. So we have how to make money online. This one here, smart money, money making ideas how to make money and blog. So I'm just going to go with the first ones here. Okay, I'm not going to spend so much time trying to look for designs. So I'll select customize this template. Okay. And I'm also going to go with this one here. Okay. I'll also choose others that are here. I'll go with this, customize this template. So I just want like five, eh? at least five images for Monday to Friday. Um, I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to select one more. So I'm just going to add my website here. I'm going to first zoom in. And that is what I'm going to do to all of them. Okay. Let me just copy that and paste it on the next one. So first I'll download this. I'll do the same with this. I'm going to add my website. All right. Share this. All right. So this is the last one. And now I'm just going to close Canva. Now what we are going to do next is to upload these images in Google Drive. Okay. We want to upload them to Google Drive because that is where they're going to be extracted from. Okay, so just go to your drive.google.com and you want to create a new folder. Okay, in order to create a new folder, you go to home, make sure in home, click on new over here and you click on new folder. Okay, here you're going to name your folder. I like to name mine uh, Pinterest images and click on create. So just open that same folder and you're going to drag and drop your images here. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of this and just drag and drop and there we go. So now once you have your images added onto your Google Drive, you can also create a Google Sheets. Okay, now this one is optional. You don't have to do it, but sometimes Zip is going to ask you to create a Google Sheet in order for it to be able to extract the images from. Okay, so in order to do that, you're going to open your Google Sheets and this is pretty much how you want to have it looking like. Okay, so this section here or this row has your status, your image URL, your board, your title, description, link and schedule okay so this row here has your status and it says what it is currently it's queued your image url will be that your board will be that you know title that and so on okay so this is how you want to have it if you're going to use google sheets okay now we can leave this just in case pinterest is going to ask us for our google sheets okay so now you're going to head over to chat gpt okay once you've set up your google sheets you're going to head over to chat gpt and this is the prompt that you want to type in. Okay, so I want you to create a Zap Copilot prompt for Pinterest. The images are in my Google Drive folder named Pinterest images. It should generate a title, caption, select the relevant board and a call to action to Robert Okello. Okay, so that's my website. And I want it to post or I want to post pins every day at 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. Now, sometimes the auto feature can be a hit or miss, especially if you ask ChatGPT to give you a prompt. Yes, it will give you the prompt, but you may need to make adjustments inside Zapier itself. Okay, it's going to give you some questions asking you if there's an issue and if there's an issue, it will ask you to fix it. So it's, it's a bit of a tedious work. So what I prefer doing is the manual way. Okay, prompting Zapier without using Copilot. Copilot is also another feature that you can use. It's an AI on Zapier that you can use to automatically generate this. Now that is something that you can try. I've tried it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that is why I prefer using or actually typing in the prompts manually in Zapier. So to show you what I mean, this is a step. Okay, so step one is to build your queue using Google Sheets. 
all right and then in under step one you have to create the google sheet and give it this name pinterest q okay you can give it pinterest q or give it whatever name but just give it pinterest q and then these are the columns that you're going to use on your google sheets okay i showed you this ones earlier you have this status column the image url the board title description link and the schedule date okay and then the second step is to create the zap itself now this one is going to trigger the scheduler by zapier okay so it's going to schedule it every day or you can choose weekly you can choose per, per hour but the more frequency or the more you post the higher chances of getting you more, getting more traffic and ranking higher all right uh, action two you can find the next queue you have google sheets and someone's going to look up google sheets row it's going to find the many spreadsheets rows and filter it's going to search for the first row where the status and the queue is okay and the second uh, the third action you have this one where it's going to now create the pin and this one's going to create the pin where it's going to select the board it's going to select the image url it's going to select the title it's going to create for you or not not select but create a title and description and also link your link whatever you wanted to link it to okay fourth step or the action three is macro posted google sheets and it's going to update the spreadsheet row so I'm not going to bore you with all these steps, but these are basically the steps that you are going to follow. Okay, I'm going to paste these steps in the description so that you can easily just copy paste and follow them along. So now you're going to go over to Zapier, that's zapier.com. I'll link it actually in the description and you're going to click on create. Okay, before you click on create, if you want to use the copilot method, the first prompt, you can actually just paste it over here. Okay, but if you want to create it manually, you can go over here to create, click on zaps, and then you proceed with the steps over here okay using these prompts here from step two because remember step one is just building the google sheets step two is to creating the zap all right so this is the prompt that you would want to enter so it says i want you to create okay let me first turn off the let me turn off grammarly here all right so it says i want you to help me create a complete zapier automation build this up exactly with these specifications the goal is to automatically post a fresh pin every time I upload a new image into a specific Google Drive folder. All right. So this is the first trigger step. Okay. The app is Google Drive. The trigger is new file in folder and the instructions are this below. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll down. Okay. So the instructions are ask me to choose or connect my Google Drive account and then ask me to select the folder name Pinterest images. This triggers whenever a new image file is added to that folder right we have the second action step okay so this one says the app is pinterest the action is to create pin and the instructions are these okay so i'll also let you copy this prompt i'll leave it down in the description so you can easily copy this i'm not going to go through all of it but once you have copy pasted you're going to hit this send okay so once it's done running everything you can click on test step all right and once it's done testing everything sometimes occasionally it's going to ask you to you know test from here so just keep testing to fix those issues and once it's done you're going to click on continue right now as you can see it says here a pin was sent to your pinterest about a minute ago and below here you can see the data out so this is the content it generated the title it selected the image it's going to show you the dimensions of the image and all that we also have our description over here and our tags now sometimes it's going to tell you to fix the issue before publishing as you can see it says here you must fix the issues in the other steps before you can publish now you can ask copilot to help you fix the issues you can just simply type over here and tell it to help you fix the issues it's going to fix that issue once it's done fixing the issue you can now go ahead and publish but when you go over to to your pinterest and you refresh you can see we have our pin over here Okay, this has just been posted remember we got this from canva we entered our website name here and if you scroll down further you can see more stats you can see the description it automatically generated this it also automatically generated the description below here you can click on more and you can see the tags as well so it's done a pretty good job and when you click on visit site which is linking to my website it's going to take me to my website okay now another method to get more traffic to your pins or to your pin account is using this extension okay this one is called save to pinterest now this one essentially does it actually allows you to basically save pins from other platforms from other websites from other apps so for example if i go over here to my website and as you can see for every image there is this pin here okay there is this extension so it appears on every image so it allows you to basically just save images directly into your pin account okay so i can just simply for example click on this 
it's going to ask me to first choose my board i can choose any of my boards over here so for example let me first select actually a board let me go with affiliate marketing all right and then now if i go over to my pinterest okay let me go back and refresh this as you can see it's going to show you that pin from my website okay you can even see my website link over here now this works well especially if you want to link your articles from your pin okay if you want to link pins to your articles to your website so this is one method that you can use this is one extension tool that you can use so again it's called save to pinterest you can just go over to chrome to your chrome web store.google.com search for save to pinterest and install it as an extension now another website or tool that you can use is pingenerator.com now this one allows you to generate multiple pins from your website okay it kind of works like the save to pin extension but this one here allows you to get multiple images to your website so for example you can ent enter your website url here click on generate my pins and now what it's currently doing is basically getting all the images that i use in my website and now as you can see it's gotten pretty much all the images from my website all right now another thing that you can do with this tool is that you can also customize the text as you can see there's some sort of text on top of my images so these are texts that you can also customize for example if i want to customize this i can just highlight this and also change the text if i wanted to say something else i can download the image from here or download the pin from here you can do such things like you know create an auto pin you know pick a date to schedule add to queue you can pin it directly to pinterest you can do such things like you know shuffling between the images you can duplicate the image lock design and you can delete it so there's so much customizations that you can do over here from this website and it's actually a free tool most of these tools are actually free so it's going to make it pretty easy for you especially if you're a beginner to start out now another tool is this one here called pininspector.com now this one is a paid tool okay this one this one is a paid tool it goes for about uh, 47 dollars but it's a one time okay so what it essentially does it uncovers top trending searches okay top trending searches from pinterest search volume top converting content and best performing ads directly on pinterest so it's a pretty convenient tool kind of like a keyword research tool especially if you're serious with your pinterest if you're solely focused with pinterest this is a tool that i highly recommend you, you use because it's going to save you a lot a lot of time getting the correct pins to actually use now another tool is this one here called trends.pinterest and i've covered this one multiple times when talking about pinterest this one is kind of similar to the previous one so it basically allows you to find trending pins but it mainly works for countries like the us okay you're going to see mostly us content so even the us is going to work perfectly for you or even if you're targeting the us audience is going to work very well for you so you can see basically the trending pins it's going to show the trending pins you can keep scrolling further okay you can just keep scrolling further so it basically goes with currently what's happening like previously there was uh, halloween so you're going to see all of these pumpkins here and if you scroll down further you're going to see also keywords as well so there's fall nails there's pumpkin carving cakes there's nails again nails are mainly very popular here especially in pinterest all right and it also shows you the weekly change the, the yearly change as well you can even go over here and search for growing trends you can go for top monthly trends you can go for interests over here you can search for different types of interests from here and another thing that you can do is search the keywords you can search with age okay so maybe you are targeting an older demographic you can go with 45 to 49 okay it's going to give you the results so you can do so much more with this tool especially if you're looking for trending pins to model after or basically get ideas from and it's also going to help you get more traffic driving more traffic to your pins now if you want to sell something online using ebooks or digital products i do have a course this is actually an ebook where i walk you through how to set up your ebook from any country and this allows you to collect payments using stripe all of this using free tools because they are the pay tools that require you to set up a payment gateway so i cover all this and more it's called the ai blueprint it's actually the first link in the description but if you want a one-on-one -on -one affiliate marketing training which is more intense this one is a private one-on-one -on -one coaching i also have a link in the description to be the second one but that's it for this one thanks for watching catch you in the next one